Hey there, I am back with another deck review and today we're going to be looking at Astronaut Snoopy from Bicycle Playing Cards. Now, Astronaut Snoopy is of course a tribute to the one and only Snoopy. Dating back to 1950 when Charles Schultz first drew Snoopy into his Peanuts comic, Snoopy has been an absolute legend of a comic character ever since. One of the most recognizable in the world. Uh, but one of the things that Snoopy's most well known for is his active imagination. Throughout the strip, he's uh, imagined himself as a fighter pilot, as an author, and yes, of course, as an astronaut. A Snoopy as an astronaut isn't an accident. In fact, Snoopy has a long and storied history of collaboration with NASA. Back in the 1960s, it was a major fire during Apollo 1, uh, and NASA launched a safety initiative. They were looking for a face for the program, and Snoopy being a beloved comic character made a lot of sense. Uh, and so Snoopy kind of came on uh, to help push that initiative forward. And in fact, still to this day, there's a Silver Snoopy Award that's given to the NASA employee who contributed the most to flight safety in some way. But in the late 1960s, Snoopy took an even bigger role, becoming kind of an unofficial mascot of NASA as a whole. In the run-up to the space landing that would finally happen in 1969, uh, astronaut Snoopy became a little bit of a fixture in the comics. Uh, in fact, a few months before the space landing in 69, Snoopy was actually the first one to land on the moon in the comic strip. It's a really famous comic strip where you can see him on the moon announcing that he's the first one and beat everybody to the moon. Uh, the mission just before Apollo 11, that moon landing mission, Apollo 10 actually had the lunar module was named Snoopy and the command module named Charlie Brown. And so Snoopy really has tons of tie-ins to NASA. Uh, so not just a simple fun theme, but a great history here uh, that's all put together. And this deck was released in 2019 to pay tribute to the 50 year anniversary of that famous flight. Uh, both the Apollo 10 and Apollo 11 were in 1969. So in 2019, we get the astronaut Snoopy deck. So that's the history of the deck, but let's take a look at it and see how it all comes together. Now it is a bicycle deck, so it's just done on a glossy finished cardboard, no embossing or really special amped up features here, but it has kind of a really fun vintage feel to it overall. You have this really light kind of ivory or off-white color here with a red and yellow uh, color scheme on the front. It features a silhouetted uh, Snoopy complete with his astronaut helmet, and then you have the space theme in the background. Love how that the rings of Saturn kind of frame things up. And then you have a classically styled bicycle banner across the top and then astronauts, astronaut Snoopy playing cards at the bottom. Really cool, retro, almost pixelated look to it overall, but really fitting for the artwork of Snoopy. On the sides, you just have air cushion finish made in the USA, United States playing card company, who of course printed the deck. Bottom has your ad copy and barcode and the top just says poker. Uh, back has a look at the back design of the cards, which obviously is inspired by the bicycle rider back. We'll look more at that in a second. And you get a simple black and white uh, tuck seal with a Snoopy's paw print right there on it. A little bit more ad copy on the, uh, on the inner flap here, just so you can see with a lot of bicycle decks and nothing printed on the interior of the tuck. So fun, simple tuck case, but I love the artwork and just really how well it captures that vintage feel overall. That's a tuck case, but let's look at the cards. And we'll start with the back design. And here it is. So it's a slightly modified version of the, the famous bicycle uh, rider back design. You'll see that wheel in the center. And a lot of these elements around the sides are very close, if not exactly what you'll see with the rider back. But of course here, where you have the uh, bicycle uh, on the top and the bottom, of course replaced it with a shot of Snoopy standing on the moon. I believe this is the one that's right out of that famous comic strip that I was talking about earlier. But it's all done on a simple red color scheme. Again, really reminiscent of the rider back. And then this uh, border here is a, just that slight off white color. It's very, very close to a true white. The faces of the card are white and you can see the comparison right there. So it's just a very, very slight difference. Uh, so that's the back design of the cards. I think really well done. Again, capturing that classic feel to it, uh, but giving it just that fun little touch. The uh, extra card you get, so you get three jokers. The first of the three jokers is the uh, 
famous 808 Joker, or almost the 808 Joker. Doesn't have 808 written on the rock there, but just the king riding on a bicycle. You'll see this in pretty much every bicycle deck today. Uh, the only difference between this one and what you'll typically see, uh, other than the 808 not being on the rock there, is that little border around the edge. But otherwise, very, very familiar feel to it overall. The other two though, really play up the Snoopy side of our whole equation here. And so with both of these, you get a little one panel comics uh, of Snoopy or the rest of the Peanuts gang, and all of them are gonna have some sort of moon theme to them. So one of them, you have Snoopy there sitting on the moon, moon rocked for sale with Woodstock there. And then you've got uh, Charlie, and I'm not sure who this is, if that's Linus or who that is that he's chasing around there, uh, but the two of them running around and playing on the moon as well. So fun overall, and uh, again, sort of great nostalgia captured there. And then you get a double backer, always nice to have. All right, on to the aces. Now the aces spades, interesting choice here, but they went with that classic bicycle style spade pip in the center. Guess they wanted to put the bicycle piece in there yet again, just a little bit more strongly. Uh, so no Snoopy or Peanuts themes on this one, just a simple bicycle spade pip in the center. Bicycle, USBCC. If you were looking at this, you wouldn't know it came from the astronaut Snoopy deck at all. Interesting choice, simple border around the edge to give it a little bit of extra depth, but otherwise pretty plain. And interesting they went with that, especially when the other three aces all feature those comics. So the red cards are done completely in red, including the design of the comics, black cards done in black. They feature classic spade, you know, or a classic pip and index in the corner with that same border, but then you get a fun comic on each one of them. I really like this one. Love Charlie Brown with that sort of oversized helmet on his head. But I really like the touches of the comics in these. I think it's it's just a lot of fun. And I love how they kind of seem like they're a little bit rougher, almost like comics throughout the ages. You know, like this one here doesn't look like it's a finished sketch. It just has that really rough hand drawn look to it that I think really captures Peanuts really well. So there's your, uh, your aces. And then we get into the number cards. All right off with the two of spades, you'll see the sort of semi-transformation feel of this deck. Uh, so you have, again, kind of a shot of Snoopy there in the center, silhouetted against the Saturn, uh, the rings of Saturn, very much like we saw in the front of the tuck case. And then the sort of spade pips in the center are twisted to kind of fit in with the image. But not all of the number cards have comics on them. So a lot of them are relatively plain and the comics kind of pop up unexpectedly on random cards. And so here on the seven of spades, for example, you get another look. And then you go a few more cards without seeing anything. There's one on the 10 of spades. I really like that one. Love the use of the spade pips there uh, to kind of give the feel like Snoopy flying through the air. Uh, I thought it was a really cool idea to only put the comics on some of the cards rather than putting it on all of them. I think putting it on every single card would have left it feeling a little bit like a souvenir deck. Whereas this makes it feel like a bit more of a creative experience. But really cool artwork on these and it's just fun as you're flipping through to stumble across one of those transformation uh, cards that feature uh, Snoopy or some of the other gang, some of the rest of the gang on there. This is probably my favorite one. I love the, the curl of the club pips going through the air. There you go, you get classic black on the black cards, classic red on the red cards. That little border adds some extra life. There's one that goes sideways with Lucy chasing them. But very cool look to them overall. And then interestingly, they decided to go pretty much standard with the, uh, with the uh, court cards. Now they are done in more of a monochrome feel to them. So you get just like shades of gray and black here for the spades. And they do get that extra little border around the edge to give it a little bit extra. But otherwise, these are pretty much your standard bicycle courts. Monochrome as well on the red cards. So now this time they're all kind of shades of red and pink. So not a huge fan of the court cards. I know they were going for a more classic deck. I would have loved to have seen, I don't know what, I don't think they you know, should have done like Snoopy faces on all the cards, but I would have liked to have seen maybe a little bit more customization on these. So core cards, a little bit of a letdown in the deck overall. 
But that's it. That is the deck. As far as handling, these are done on the with the classic air cushion finish. So if you felt a bicycle retail deck, you know these are going to handle beautifully right out of the box. Very smooth feel to them. Uh, fans, cuts are all going to be really nice with these. So no complaints on that front. Uh, but overall, I think this is a great functional and fun deck, especially for gameplay. Uh, collectors, especially collectors of Snoopy, old comics, things like that. I think this is one that you've got to have in your collection. Uh, but if you pick this up, it's, it's a great looking deck on the shelf, uh, despite the sort of relative simplicity. You know, no fancy gold or anything like that. But it's a great looking deck and it just captures that nostalgia so well. And one that I, like I said, recommend, break it open, use it for gameplay. It's just a fun extra spin on that. Uh, so overall, I think great job on the deck. Only knocks on it. I wish that they hadn't done that sort of classic Ace of Spades pip. And I wish they'd done a little bit of customization on the courts. But overall, I think they really did a great job with this deck. So great marks on this one. Uh, definitely a little bit harder to pick these up now. You'll have to keep an eye out on the secondary market for these. Uh, eBay, places like that. But not too hard of a deck to find if you get out there and look. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this look at the Astronaut Snoopy playing cards from Bicycle. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more deck reviews and unboxings. And let me know what else you want to see. And I'll see you for the next one.